Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Echoes of Etheria. I'm your host Mr. Gazillion, and in the last episode we went through uh, World's End, which would bring us to Giovanni, but it looks like um, we're not going to finish this chapter because the story split up between multiple character angles and now we're going to be Soa. So, uh, <laughs> what are we in for? We are at Soa's Reckoning. Hmm. Ah, stupid cursor. Step aside. I wish to see my father. I I'm sorry, princess. We're under direct orders from Queen Azra. Your orders have changed now, have they not? Of course, Your Majesty. Please, I insist. I thought so. Stay here, Cormag. So, huh? I cannot see, but I know it's you. It is me, Father. Hold on. We, we have a way to save you. Save me? <coughs> so, uh, there is no such thing. I am at death's door. Cormag, it's worse than I expected. We must do something. Someone is here with you? A friend, father. Without him, I may not be alive. Pardon the intrusion, King Dargon. Well, what are we supposed to do? How do I save him, Cormag? Looks pretty bad. So, uh, there's no saving me. <coughs> I must tell you something in the limited time I have. I am sorry, my precious daughter. You were never meant to be thrust into this life so quickly. You have been out in the world without vital knowledge. I'm listening, father. One child in our royal bloodline goes through a ritual at birth. We are bathed in the energy of the blood shard. I was that monarch, as were you. <coughs> we have simply been following tradition, the continuation of our dynasty and our identity. I see now that it has been a mistake. I can feel your own life energy. It is erratic. You are a woman in your prime. You should be strong and vital. But it is our backwards family tradition that is tearing us apart from the inside out. Why was I chosen for this instead of Nadia or Kazim? I truly loved your mother, despite her upbringing. She was a free spirit which lead, led to her early demise. And since then, you have been the only light in my life. <coughs> I was driven by duty to take Azra as my queen and bear a legitimate, legitimate heir. However, my heart belonged and still belongs solely with you. You must learn to master your gift or it will truly become a curse. Nadia and Kazim do not understand the situation. Azra has been planting the seeds of discord since the very beginning. So, uh, it was Azra who met with the Viridian leadership and solidified <coughs> the claim you were, that you were dead. She is a puppet of the enemy. <coughs> she has now seized power and she exercises Viridia's will over our people. Azra... I don't care what it takes, I will end you. I swear upon all this that is good, I will end you, Azra. Go with caution, Soa. Oops, that was King Dogon. <laughs> Azra has undergone augmentation at the Viridian secret facility. She has grown extremely powerful. Then I will become more powerful and destroy her, even if it kills me. Soa, listen to me. <coughs> Azra has access to the royal treasury, but she does not know how to activate the blood shard. I must share this spell with you, so that you can bypass a magical barrier surrounding it and harness its energy. 
for your own purposes before the Viridians get their hands on it. I'm ready, Father. And with that, we grow stronger. What do we... I understand now. I knew you would. That... <coughs> just... <coughs> about does it for me. I love you, Father. And I... You... Stay alive. My... I am deeply sorry, Soa. I failed. I thought I had the knowledge to remedy this. It is done. I need you to get me to the treasury. Do not kill my people unless absolutely necessary. I am yours to command, princess. Well, well, well. Oh, we don't have them. Well, we do have a skill thing to use, which I'm going to use right now. I'm going to give her a magic upgrade, because why not? And I'll give her that extra level. No, you know what? I don't really feel like it. But I will go in skills. Wait, don't I have a skill? Yeah, I already used it. And I'm going to increase... Okay, so... There must be something... I can do... Um... Nurture is useful. Shadow Blast is useful. I think I might replace this with something that does... Um, so our life link with all... No. I want to... No. I want to use something that takes advantage of Blood Tap. Uh, no. I already have Blood Tap. No. All allies' attacks apply Blood Tap, siphoning the target's life force to Soa. Strike a single enemy inflicts Blood Tap, which allows Soa to absorb health over time, and chance her attacks with the Blood Element. So maybe that would be good. So I guess Blood Tap only makes you get health from people. So I guess then... Draw the enemy army towards a single point... Oh. That's actually pretty handy. So this is Blood Tap. The effect can bounce just enemies at a reduced effect. So I receives into the life of one enemy and drains it away for herself. But I find that some of these abilities I don't really use. Yeah, I don't use that, so I'm gonna use the... the Blood Tap one instead. Actually, maybe I'll just do one and do this one. So that way I can pull everyone together. Okay, I'm happy with this. And we will save. And move forward and see if we can stop them. Princess Soa, we expected you, you'd come here. Out of the way. Defy me will cost you dearly. No. My apologies. You are on my side? Every guard in this room is loyal to you. The rightful heir to Suyuna. We've organized the guard shifts in such a way that there are no Azrael loyalists here. Yet, I cannot guarantee we can hold them off for long, and they greatly unnumber us. Thank you. Oh, wait. We are with you, Your Majesty. Well, then follow me. Uh, I thought that they would follow me. I guess not. Does she have time to play a song? I guess not. Any hidden orbs? Nope. Um... Before I go anywhere, I'm definitely going to explore for magical trinkets, XP orbs, or anything like that. If there is anything, we probably got it in the previous episode, so... Are right, with you. I just don't want- I just want to make sure I don't miss anything, okay. Nothing on the throne. Okay, thank you. We'll open the door. I didn't realize I had that master key. Ooh, look at the treasury. Are you seeing this? There is more gold hoarded away here than I thought even existed. It seems you will be quite wealthy someday, Soa. But the blood shard your father spoke of, this is far greater treasure than, any, uh, than all the petty wealth you can imagine. Ah, oh, man, is he going to turn on us and steal the blood shard for himself? Why would I not be surprised if that was the case? 
I mean, clearly that's the blood shard right there, but I would like to go open these things. And... There you go. Should I remove the seal or something? The barrier is down. Good. Now use the amulet. We will consolidate the energy of the other shards into this one. Okay... Uh-oh, it's reacting. Final Fantasy VI, Terra and the Esper. Glorious. I can feel its energy. So, uh, this is what will save your life and give you the power to destroy all of your enemies. You already know how to draw life. Focus this power on the shard. Try to reach within it, beyond its physical form, to drink from the abundance that it's trapped within. Oh god. Are we gonna trans transform so into some sort of monster? Oh my god, we might. Ah, uh, Cormag! This is overwhelming! I, I cannot! Stay with me, Soa. Breathe and focus. Let go of any of doubt. Of your doubt. You've lived your whole life in service of others. Enough! Embrace who you are. Take what is yours and keep it. This will sustain you and make your enemies tremble. Make Azra suffer. Yes, I feel it. I never knew letting go would be like this. Like a void deep within me is being filled, filled for the first time. Ha, ah, soon you will be beyond human. Maybe even like her. My awareness is extending outward. Every particular of life, it feels like facades have been stripped away and the universe around me is breaking down into its fundamental building blocks. Oh god. Huh? Princess Soa, Azra's men have caught on. We must hold the line here. Give up, traitors. There are hundreds more of us coming. You don't stand a chance. The life force near me have changed. Yes, enemies have broken into the treasury. They're closing in on you, Soa. What are you going to do about it? Enemies? They must be eliminated. Urgh! Cormag! This has gone too far. I feel like my body's going to burst at the seams. No, you must keep going. What ritual is this? No matter, take them down. Oh god. Uh-oh. Yeah, clear- Oh my god, we even killed some of our own men. How is Cormag still alive? Oh my. These were men of Sayuna. What have I done? You did what you had to do. Survive. But at such great cost. Cormad, you led me down this path. This is your cure? I would never have been ex accepted this cu cure. You would rather wither away and die? No, it is not that simple. While I was linked with the shard, I began to break through the walls surrounding your mind. You are not of this world. What are you? Oh gosh, now he's doing it too. Oh, okay, no, I just put the power within the... Sh within the, am the... The what? What's going on? Me, the shards. We are one and the same. We are relics of an ancient time revived by the meddling of humans. To my people, what you call matter and energy are interchangeable. The, the very fabric of creation was nearly within our full, true understanding. What do you hope to accomplish with this? I am alone in this world. Where I come from, it is long since gone, but the remnants of it, our greatest advancements, are now in the hands of humanity. Such power, you felt it. You may find this hard to believe, but that was just a tiny glimpse. You are the closest a human has ever come to truly understanding the way of things. And you, you know that the, there are elements of your species who are like children playing with toys when it comes to newfound power. I know you feel the same way. Yes, I do. I have absorbed humanity for centuries and have now become a part of it. Your societies evolved, an iterative process of slowly maturing from barbarians to some semblance of civilized peoples. Your evolution is cyclical, 
and with each cycle comes a gr stronger realization that it is power that moves you. Power alone. Everything else is a fabrication, a facade, or at best, a derivative. Power brings order. Order is the basis for civilization. And without order, we are lost. We are barbarians. No, we are mere beasts. She understood that, and I feel it in the depths of your consciousness that you understand as well. People follow you, and you lead them, as easily as one takes a breath. Just as we watched our species disappear, you have watched your fragile world crumble before you. Right now, a small cabal of Viridians, hidden away in the Red Clave, are dangerously close to triggering a cataclysm. They are tampering with an ancient power source, augmenting themselves, creating artificial versions of themselves, and believing somehow that this is some divine imperative. The Avatars. Do you believe in these Avatars, Soa? I do not believe they are of, of any divine nature. My ancestor, Ishtar, was surely real. Our people have followed the lore that Ishtar and others like her were blessed by the heavens to found our civilization. Indeed. These human victors wrote the history books and have made themselves gods in your eyes. They stumbled upon the power that is a shard that is me. They built the great city of Viridia around that was once my grave and expanded to dominate the world. Everything you've done for me has been a part of your own ambitions? You had prior knowledge of all that would ha uh, of what would happen to me and my people. Yet, here we stand, my country torn in half, my friends distrust me, and my countrymen dead by my own hand. And you, holding power of the blood shard, cold, deliberate, ruthlessly efficient, except for one thing. You mention her. I sense your loss and your longing. It is genuine and powerful. She was my entire existence, that, and a champion of my tribe's sacred cause. Through the ultimate injustice, Metra was taken away from us, away from me. The same injustice, humani th humanity threatens to recreate. Adara Metra represented the, the ultimate salvation of life for all eternity. The things you have lost, almost meaningless to my comparison. All in due time, Sua. You will come to understand this. I could not have gotten you this far without deceiving you, withholding certain information. I know you will see it my way eventually. Cormag, surely you know I cannot replace her. I should not even continue to associate with you. You, who have played me for a fool. I let myself become a true monster all to serve your obsession. Yet, I somehow continue crossing fates with you. And now... There is nothing that I can stop you. You want to stop me? Don't betray your feelings, Soa. You want exactly what I want. You just haven't let go of that weakness and doubt that makes you so inexorably human. Please, leave my palace, Cormag. I only hope we are not fated to meet again. Belief in fate will betray you further. A new fate will be forged by my hand, upon the bodies of my enemies. In the company of your fellowship, your words will la la lament, but your heart will rejoice, and you will come to realize what you really want. It took me centuries to win your heart the first time, and mark my words, I will do it again. Hmm. So he thinks so as Metra reincarnated? Yes, that is the key. It is all but inevitable. I don't know whose voice is it. It becomes easier and easier to bend and break others to my will. The time is soon. That must be Azra. Very soon. Hmm. Now what I would like is for Soa to become less useless in battle and not take so much damage from her spells. We are approaching an Aeolian League sp airspace, sir. What are your orders? We are to proceed as planned, soldier. Not getting cold feet, are you? It's just that. This is foreign airspace. We will be seen as aggressors. We have long since crossed a Rubicon, my friend. Diplomatic minutia are the least of my concerns. Don't spare a bit of speed, Captain. Track down the Angra Manu and prepare the ship for boarding. 
We can't outgun it, but we might just have a shot at a commandeering it. Forgive me for speaking again, but we will be vastly outnumbered. How can we hope to commandeer such a heavily defended ship? Oh, I think it will be just fine. I doubt they will offer much resistance to our new ally. Oh my goodness. Is she a copy? I am ready, Duke Aldor. Hmm. Where did Soa suddenly become an ally to the Duke? It looks like we're explored we've explored quite a bit of the world map now. I don't think I have anywhere to go except forward. So uh Well I guess let's start the assault on the airship. But first oh no! We're playing as Lucian. So let's save. I guess we'll save here. And it is going to the Angra menu, which is where... Okay, so that's where Soa is going and where Lucian is. So I wonder, was the person who was paying to have Lucian captured his father? And how did Soa get there? You know what, guys? I think I'm going to end the episode here. Um, it's just, a, I think, a good place to end it. And in the next episode, we'll definitely see what's going on with Lucian. And I guess, hopefully, figure out what's going on with uh, Soa. And if it was whether, whether it's Soa who's losing her mind, or if it's Azra or another one of her siblings uh, getting more power from the Viridians. So as always, I am your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. I appreciate all your comments, and let me know what you think of Echoes of Etheria. And I will see you all next time. Bye now.